Intro So, you think the first week of pregnancy is, well, kinda boring, right? You're just hoping, you're wondering, but your body isn't really doing much yet. But what if I told you your body isn't waiting at all? What if I told you it's already laying the groundwork, and that the very first steps on the road to pregnancy start before you're even technically pregnant? In this video, we're pulling back the curtain on what's really happening inside your body during those first seven days. Forget the missed period for now, we're talking about the incredible, nearly undetectable ways your body is preparing for a baby, right now. The week one inch clarification alright, first things first, we have to clear up something that confuses almost everyone. Medically speaking, week one of pregnancy is a little weird. It actually starts on the first day of your last menstrual period. Conception, the moment sperm meets egg, usually doesn't happen for another two weeks. So, why on earth do we count it? Because it's the clearest, most reliable starting line for doctors to date a pregnancy. While it might seem like nothing is happening, your body is performing a total reset, shedding the previous uterine lining while also getting a brand new, mature egg ready for its debut. This whole preparation phase is what kicks off the first foundational steps we're about to get into. Section 1. The 5 foundational steps your body takes in the early weeks so if you're not even pregnant yet, how can there be physical signs? Well, these aren't signs of pregnancy, but rather signs that your body, an incredible machine, is firing up its engines in case you become pregnant. Here are the five key steps it takes. Step number one. The hormonal green light the second your period starts, your body is already looking ahead to the asterisk next opportunity for pregnancy. A hormone called follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, starts to rise, basically telling your ovaries, all right, time to get an egg ready, at the same time, your body ramps up estrogen production. This is the official green light. Estrogen gets to work rebuilding your uterine lining, making it thick and welcoming for a potential embryo in a few weeks. You won't feel this happening, but it's the crucial first move in the whole process. Step number two. The ovulation twin Joe K. A quick time jump for this one. It technically happens around the end of week two, but it's a physical feeling many women notice. Around day 14 of a typical cycle, when that mature egg is finally released, some women feel a faint, one-sided pinch in their lower abdomen. It's known as Mittelschmerz, German for middle pain, and it's literally the sensation of the ovary releasing the egg. It's a physical heads up that your body is entering its most fertile window. Step number three. The basal body temperature shift now here's a step you can actually track with data. Your basal body temperature, or BBT, is your body's lowest temp when you're fully at rest. During the first half of your cycle, it stays pretty low. But the day after ovulation, the hormone progesterone crashes the party, causing your BBT to rise by about half a degree and stay there. If you do get pregnant, your temperature will remain high. A sustained temperature shift for over 18 days is a strong clue you might be pregnant, but the initial shift itself is a sign that ovulation has happened. Step number four. Cervical mucus changes. This is one of the clearest physical signs that your body is getting ready for go time. As you get closer to ovulation, all that estrogen we talked about changes your cervical mucus. It goes from being pretty unnoticeable to clear, slippery, and stretchy, a lot like raw egg whites. This isn't just random, it's designed to help sperm swim more easily toward the egg. After ovulation, it usually gets thick and sticky again. While some changes can happen if you conceive, this initial shift is all about fertility, not pregnancy itself. Step number 5. The post-ovulation feeling true implantation doesn't happen until 6 to 12 days after conception, but many women swear they feel different soon after ovulation. You might experience things that feel a lot like PMS, a little bloating, sore breasts, or sudden fatigue. This is all thanks to progesterone, which surges after ovulation, whether you conceive or not. It can slow down digestion, causing bloat, 
and increase blood flow to your breasts, making them tender. That exhaustion? Also, a classic progesterone move. These feelings aren't proof of pregnancy, as they're indistinguishable from PMS, but they are a sign that your body is creating a supportive environment, just in case. CTA It's wild how many of these feelings are just written off as a normal part of a cycle, without realizing the incredible work your body is doing. Have you ever noticed any of these subtle shifts and wondered what was going on? Let me know in the comments what your very first, wait, what was that, moment was. Conclusion So, while you aren't technically pregnant in week 1, your body is anything but lazy. It's a time of intense preparation, all orchestrated by a symphony of hormones that are setting the stage for a new life. From hormonal green lights to temperature shifts you can actually track, the foundational steps are there if you know what you're looking for. They show that the journey of pregnancy starts long before you ever see a positive test. Of course, everybody is different. You might experience all of these things, or none of them. But understanding them can help you feel more in tune with your body and its absolutely amazing capabilities. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. In our next video, we're diving into the first real signs you'll notice in weeks 3 and 4, after conception has actually happened. You won't want to miss it.